Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to play as a mage and I'm demonstrating against a level 43,000 worker and he's got 3 million health. So I'll show you the best mage build and I say use the ring of ice and fire because it has freeze and incinerate and stack up on many perfect parry stun gems. Also use a rare magic gem if you have one and the manganese helm as it has the extra gem slot. So fit in as many perfect parry stun gems as you can and the on break gets magic charge gem and that's the important one for this build. So first use freeze and this will boost your parries so you'll get perfect parries easier. The way this build works, each perfect parry gem counts as a break. So with 12% on break get magic charge and 12 perfect parry stun gems, you get 96% magic charge. Also my ring is level 20 and my rare magic gem is 650. So that combination gives me 218,000 damage for each incinerate spell. So the higher your ring level and the higher your rare gem, the higher the amount of damage you'll inflict with your incinerate damage. So after you've used the freeze spell, then for each perfect parry you get, your magic meter will have charged and you can use the damage spell. And for Cyrus with this ring, it's the incinerate damage. And for Issa, I recommend the lotus ring because that has shock as well as incinerate and shock actually gives the most total damage whereas incinerate gives the most damage in one hit so for Cyrus the ring of elements is the best ring for this mage build and to get perfect parries you want to hit at the exact same angle as the titan's swipe and just before he hits you and that's the way you'll get the perfect parry and charge your magic meter. You can also use great parry or gem to assist with this build because then you can great parry all hits. However, I didn't use it because I wanted the extra perfect parry stun gem to increase the amount of magic charge. And you can get these gems, the perfect parry stun and the on break magic charge gems from the merchant ship and from your store. And you need the rare merchant skill and the super gem store skill for them to appear. So get those skills and then you'll see those gems appearing for you in the ship and in the store. So you'll see that I'm getting the worker right down here. He's got less than half a million health and basically I've only attacked him with magic. I did use three other attacks during this fight and that's it, the rest has been just the incinerate magic. And I also used one super to avoid his step back because it can be hard dodging when the titan's on freeze. But after that I finished him off with the incinerate. So this is a really effective way of playing if your dark fire or rare attack gems are in the fuse or for a variety of play style or just for fun which is what I was doing here. And there's the level 43,000 worker down. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and check out my social pages and my website tamilchannel.com Thanks, see you next time.